and welcome to another edition of the Friday Morning Report. I'm your host, Craig Schmayhill. And this is a uh, small edition of the Friday Morning Report. I'm just back from Birmingham, England, where I took place as a judge in one of the most amazing events I've ever been to, and that was the Young Rewired State. Um, it's a group of kids uh, under the age of 18, uh, coding, programming, and all of that good stuff. Some of these kids had never, ever tried this stuff before, and some had, of course, had a few years of experience and all of that. So definitely some very, very cool stuff going on. I brought a couple things back. Um, one was a very cool image. I'll have to show this. Let's see if I can show this here for you. Um, get this up there. Happens to be on my laptop, on my iPad, so... Let's see here if I've got this. So there we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. Can you see this yet? Ah, there we go. The Young Rewired State. Um, cool, cool, cool group. And you can't really make it out on this. It's a little small. But there up in the top right corner is the SAP logo. That's right, SAP was the headline sponsor this year. So that's how I got to go. It was extremely, extremely exciting. Um, I was really, really excited to take part in the young, uh, the SAP Young Rewired State 2012. I'm really hoping to go back next year and I'm hoping that SAP sponsors next year because it was just really a lot of fun. Um, so a lot of cool stuff. I did take a few photos. I, I took them with the iPad. Um, you know, I didn't want to, you know, sit there whipping out a whole bunch of, of equipment. The kids were already nervous on stage and stuff as well already. And, um, I mean, some of these kids had never presented before in front of an audience. Last year they had a hundred kids. This year it was like 400 kids. So a lot of weird, you know, new stuff, big stuff for them and all that going on. And, you know, so I... I didn't want to, you know, make them even more nervous. I mean, there was enough people running around with cameras and all that. So I just took the iPad and I used the iPad and I made a little video and I brought back some of the, the paperwork and the documentation. And I was a judge, um, so I got to, to judge a few of the groups. So I got to see several of them firsthand, as well as I got to see, um, you know, of course, the winners of the other groups that were judged as well. So it was a really, really lot of fun. It took place in the Custard Factory in uh, Birmingham. And they've already said that they're going to go back if they do it again, which I think they will. But uh, if they do it again, uh, they'll come back to Birmingham next year as well. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, just a lot of cool times. One thing that I thought was really awesome is uh, this letter that um, and that they added and gave to all the kids. And what I want to do is I want to read this letter to you because I think it's actually extremely important for the kids out there to, to hear about this and see this, you know, going forward. And um, so here we go. All right. The letter. You are here because you are talented developers. We hope that being involved in SAP Young Rewired State 2012 gives you opportunities to use that talent and encourages you to pursue and develop that talent in future. This hope is shared by everyone involved with Young Rewired State, and some are well-placed to offer you these opportunities. However, it is really important to us that your talent is not exploited and your youth is not taken advantage of. Kudos to them. Awesome statement there. For this reason, we ask that you be extremely cautious when accepting any form of mentoring, assistance, or work beyond the festival itself. If you are approached by an individual or an organization, we advise you to do the following. One, speak to an adult who has experience in business who, and who you trust, perhaps a parent, guardian, teacher, or member of YRS staff. If you can't think of anyone to talk to, contact Thire Prime, the YRS recruitment guru, at Thire at ThirePrime.com. Three, ask the person making you the offer to write down exactly what they are offering you and what they expect from you in return. Make sure the agreement you have with them is for a set period of time. We would recommend a trial period of no more than three months. This means that if it isn't going well, you can leave after that period of time. And if it's going well, you can always renew the agreement. Clarify whether the good ideas you come up with and the cool things you create while they are helping or you're working for them belong to you or to them. 
You don't want to invent the next big thing and then discover the rights to it don't belong to you and someone else is going to get all the credit. Some great opportunities. So those are the, the what they recommend. And then they follow up with some great opportunities come out of being involved in YRS. So we are certainly not telling you to dismiss every offer that comes your way. Plenty of individuals and organizations want to help you grow your talents and give you the space and facilities to do so. This is a good thing. We just want to make sure you understand exactly what it is you'll you'll be agreeing to and that it benefits you as much as it benefits them. If you have any more questions about this advice, what this advice means, then feel free feel free to approach any member of YRS staff and they will help you out. Awesome suggestions for the kids out there. Um, I certainly you know, only wanted to be involved for the pure, pure purpose of being able to be involved and to help out and um, you know, take part in something I thought was a really great event. And I gotta tell you, I was blown away. Absolutely blown away. Let's look at a couple of these little uh, photos that I took. It, it might be hard to see in there, you know, but you know, Take a look. Uh, what this is, is this is the stage. Um, this is us getting set up for the Festival of Code. This was the show and tell. So there was five groups, and there was four judges in each of these groups, and these four judges picked from four categories. Best in show, Code a Better Country, which was the theme, best example of coding, and wish I'd thought of that. So those were the four categories. And these are the kids uh, in each of the four groups. Sometime, uh, the group I was in, we had 17 uh, hacks that were demoed to us. They had three minutes of demo and three minutes of talking. I kind of would recommend maybe five minutes of demo and, and two minutes of talking. Um, you're, you're only adding an extra minute there and giving the kids more time to, to demo. Some of these kids, you know, first time they were very nervous, but they did phenomenal jobs, very cool stuff. So my group picked, of course, our four, and I got to tell you, and of course, every kid out there that might be watching this, uh, we struggled. We really struggled to figure out uh, which choices to make. Uh, the kids did not make it easy for us. It was just utterly impossible for us to finally choose in the end. I, we just couldn't believe it. It was it was that difficult to choose. So um, yeah, so definitely a little hard. Uh, but in the end, we did finally choose. We did a couple of special mentions and things like that as well because we felt the kids really did a great job. And, you know, if they stick to it, maybe next year it'll be them up there. So it was really, really, really great stuff. Uh, very exciting stuff. Then those 20 teams came on stage in front of everyone. So like 500 people. And they presented to a panel of five judges special celebrities, Conrad Wolfram, Thomas Grossel, Lily Cole. Um, yeah, I mean, just, just really special judges here. Um, Dallas Campbell, um, you know, hosted and moderated. Uh, Paul Clark was taking photos. I mean, it's just an amazing time. Uh, definitely, definitely very, very cool stuff. You can go to their website, youngrewiredstate.org, and get better photos than, than the ones you're looking at from me right now. I'm pulling up their website right now. Um, for 2012 my computer of course is saying no stop doing everything you're doing <laughs> all right here it comes it was the festival of code weekend now these kids all had like a week beforehand in centers all across the UK where they were there with mentors and helping uh, being helped out and, and all of this um, and that's how they were able to you know, do this. So the judges again, Lily Cole and Conrad Wolfram. Um, then, of course, Aral uh, Balkan uh, was there, and uh, Jonathan Luff and Thomas Grossel. Uh, Thomas, uh, as many of you in the SAP world know, is uh, one of the uh, the guys behind a lot of the developer activities at SAP. He's really working hard to get the developer information out there to the whole world uh, in terms of, of reach and, you know, reach, awareness, engagement, all that. So he was, when, when this offer came, you know, through DJ Adams and uh, it came to Thomas and me, Thomas and I both looked at each other and said, it sounds like a fantastic opportunity, um, you know, and of course SAP really does want to support developers of all kinds, uh, including all ages. So this was just, it fit perfectly. Um, and the fact that, you know, we could just be there and take part was, was benefit enough for us. So that was very exciting times. And, um, you know, and of course the winners, I have the winners, um, that they're watching 
and I was tweeting, live tweeting, and actually uh, there was even a special surprise from the from the uh, from the judges. They decided that there was one team that just was such a remarkable idea. Um, they didn't want to. They they couldn't. You know, they picked something else uh, for the, each of the four categories, but what they thought would be amazing is to give a new opportunity to this one team. So, um, winning in, doo, 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 here it is, dun, 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 dun. All right, so the first winner, the wish I had thought of that winner was Hue Map, which what they did was they took the mapping technology and combined it together with um, human interface as well. So sat navigations, cultural locations. So as you're driving, it would also not only just tell you to turn left at, at Third Street, it would tell you to turn left at the next, uh, you know, Pub or whatever, so you can actually get a little bit better, uh, better, you know, type of directions there. Then the best example of coding was one called Postcode Wars. These kids would actually put in two postcodes and click a button, and then you'd be able to tell based on multiple different criteria: income, cost of living, uh, tax, you know, all of these different categories. And built based on plugins and everything like that, uh, you were able to just pop in a whole new set of criteria and it would automatically start to find this as well and it would compare the two postcodes together. Really cool. Uh, Code a Better Country was a group uh, they built Why Waste a Vote? This was built around the UK uh, for voting for young, targeted young kids for them to easily be able to look up their local MP, figure out what they're all about before they actually cast their vote. It was a way for the kids to learn more about the politicians and actually make a better choice in voting and not just waste a vote. Best in Show was a, uh, an app called Smart Move. Uh, what these, get, these, these kids did was they created an app. Uh, you're planning to make a move. You're, you're moving you know, your house from one place to another. They were able to pull it up, and based on your criteria and all that, was show a map, show with all the different locations, and then you'd be able to see the criteria for those locations, rent, travel, crime, all of these stats to be able to figure out, is this the right place for me to move to or not? And then, of course, the judges, as I said, they created a whole brand new category. And Jonathan Luff um, stepped forward and said he, was, he would personally take these kids and introduce them to a group that would help them be able to build this app out. These kids build an app called way to go Now, for people in Germany, it's a lot like the wheelmap.org uh, you know, website that you've probably seen on the news. Uh, one of the individuals, his father was diagnosed with MS, so all his early members of his dad was w with a walking stick and then later in a wheelchair. And what he's l grown up learning is that there's not a lot of places that really truly, you know, have the right facilities for disabled or handicapped individuals. And so they created a solution where people with those types of disabilities would be able to rate the places themselves. And then you'd be able to exactly know which, where, you know, where to go, when to go, how to go, and all of this. Fantastic, phenomenal app. At the end of it, I was talking to the kids, and I told them about wheelmap.org. And I said, you know, you might want to take a look at them as well. There Maybe there's a way you guys can exchange data. So it goes internationally and not just, you know, focused it just in the country itself. Um, they were great. They were, you know, happy to hear that, you know, they, you know, there was other places they could look to. And, um you know one of the kids made a comment he goes you know it's it's just like winning just like the others you know we're winning here and i and you know i it was somebody said you know a lot of people are winning with this one so it was a really great time um just an amazing opportunity and just extremely excited to see it all and and i was extremely excited to have the opportunity and the privilege to take part in it and you know it just reminded me that you know here we are, we do our daily lives, we do all the stuff that we do, but you know, there's so many more opportunities where we can help take what we know and pass it on to others. So this was just a great event, exciting event. I mean, I am just pumped up after this event. 
Um, one of the kids, you know, that had an app. I'm sitting there on my phone. I'm trying it myself. They had voice activated interfaces for a mapping solution based on social, you know, your social interaction with Twitter. So if I'm here and there, there and all this, and you could actually track the people like the Marauder map in Harry Potter. I mean, just brilliant stuff. Some of these kids, I, I spoke to a little girl from Manchester, um, you know, she's built an app by herself. She didn't know this before, but she's built a map. I mean, how cool is that? I spoke to another kid, eight years old, got involved. There was another little boy, 10 years old. He was in a group of, a bigger group of a whole bunch of kids and they were doing stuff and he wasn't really understanding fully what was going on. And finally, the mentor got involved and said, hey, I hear you can play, you're pretty good with stencil or scratch. How about trying out stencil? This 10 year old built a whole game using the same data, data sets the bigger kids were using with a Arduinos and all of this and heat maps and he created a game for younger kids to figure out those crazy statistics that we don't like to watch and pay attention to in school. Amazing stuff. Two kids from up in, up in Glasgow area built a, just a simple interface inside of WordPress, no less, that allowed you to select the weather maps based on your date of birth. Now I'm sitting there going, date of birth, hmm. What happens if I need to know what the weather was like on certain types of conditions? There's an interface already there. Just amazingly, amazingly cool stuff. My hat goes off to Emma and all the folks over at YRS that pulled this off. Like I said, I want to be involved next year. I'm going to try to, you know, I'll put it on my list of, of what I think SAP should be involved with because I just think it's an amazing event. And I'd love to find local ones doing the same thing. That would be cool too. And I'd love to take part in those. Um, kids, you know, kids are the future. Kids are our, our, our future. And, uh, you know, the ideas and the things that they're creating now are just phenomenal. Um, I could go on and on about all of the ones I saw, Bookify, Clever Wherever, um, you know, all of these, but, um, you know, um, you know, just go check it out. Hacks.rewiredstate.org. Hacks.rewiredstate.org. Every one of the hacks are up. You can go check them all out yourself. So with that said, uh, I am on the road again in a day or so up to Berlin for the SAP Startup Forum. Uh, Hannah uh, in memory technology together with startups. So exciting times ahead. And, uh, you know, I just finally finished unpacking and all that. Now I need to go pack again. So I'm going to sign off and you guys all have a great time. And until next time.